seem like that war is going to last forever. Well, the Pope wants it over now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you heard about that? He's still, he's still on that. Frank? Talk. What Frank <laughs> have to say, dude? He, he said the, the Ukrainians should, uh, they should seek a ceasefire, man. They should back down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. We got company. Um, I don't know how this war ends. I don't either. But maybe they have. Well, uh, they, 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 they almost got Zelensky the other day. You guys yeah, saw that? The Russians? So yeah. yeah. Tried to whack him? Yeah. Uh, he was on tour with uh, some Greek politician. I don't remember exactly what the Greek guy's role in the government was, but he's like pretty high up in the Greek government, right? Okay. And the Russians uh, lobbed a missile at them that like landed like like within like a third, like a, was it a third of a mile was it, I think? Oh, damn. So like right down the street from where yeah, they were driving. Right. And like, they could like hear it and like, you know, like, they could feel like the ground shaking as they're driving by. So like, yeah, almost got them. Damn. That would be very hard for Ukraine to recover from. I think if if Zelensky goes down, there's probably a high chance that whatever whoever takes over for him would probably surrender. That'd be interesting. I mean, there's there's also. Um... I mean, the U.S. also has been banging at it. Ukraine's back as much as anyone else. You well, know? Yeah, because we've got we've got our own strategic objectives for this mm -hmm. war. I don't even know if we ever want it to end. Because we just don't. Ties, no, we want it to at least ties, last as long as Afghanistan. Ties, right. ties Russia down. So we want the Russians to bleed as much as possible, but I don't yeah. think we actually want Ukraine to win. Because uh, that would create another geopolitical mess for us to sort out. We we want it to be another forever war. Exactly. I also, know. because we can make a lot of money off. Of There's that. also, I think, I think we'd like it to reach a kind of stalemated DMZ kind of situation, mm -hmm. just because we've already handed out a ton of contracts to rebuild Ukraine. So oh, you yeah. know those companies that but are, if they are keep way destroying it, we'll get even more contracts to rebuild it. Yeah. Well, that's why you have to have a low level conflict like we had in Afghanistan, where where you'd have enough time to build a road or a bridge or something, but then the Taliban could blow it up so you could build it again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's that's what we're really looking for. It also wouldn't surprise me if maybe uh, people in the U.S. government want Russia to win eventually, so that they can send those contractors over to Russia to rebuild some yeah. Russians. You know, more under the table, but you know, they're still yeah. making money off it. I mean, I can definitely see that. I do think I, it would not surprise me if Western governments do it's want big shit. do <laughs> want Russia to be able to be normalized enough as a country for us to go back to servicing their oil industry. Mm, true. <laughs> The oil companies were very reluctant to leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were not happy. It was like Exxon and Conical Phillips or whatever. They were like, no, we don't want to leave. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, Alex, I know it's been a really long time since you've uh, experienced this yeah, game with me, but uh, what are your thoughts on the citizens of Shambhala being the sexual undesirables of an alien civilization? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting uh, way to go, man. Uh, you know, it's not how I had imagined. Imagine Shambhala. So, what <laughs> ancient astronaut theorists imagine? Because <laughs> yeah, they, they do the whole fake out with the, they're dressed like these yetis, right? How, so. come, how come every ancient astronaut theorist is always in some like random hotel room and looks like a recently divorced dad? <laughs> that's because like, that's what they are. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what they are. I mean, did you expect these guys to have like offices and like wives <laughs> that wow. still love them? I mean, I'm assuming. They're Definitely might... not that still love them. <laughs> no, they Maybe they have oh, wives, but they don't still like well, I think they're yeah. the wives. The wives are at least in the process of leaving. Yeah, they're yeah. Clearly, nothing else. They clearly had to like make a last minute move to the Motel Six before. <laughs> yeah, they were going to get their own their, apartment still. Their and... Ancient alien hit, you know. But it's always it's always just like some random hotel room that goes a mess, like a middle aged guy. Coming up on Ancient Aliens, did Bigfoot Nazis ruin my marriage? Ancient Aliens about theories, so yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, hit right in the face with the grenade. <laughs> is, is she overreacting? Is she not really <laughs> Should, I not say yes. <laughs> Should I get custody of my kids? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see your message there. I swear to God, yeah, they they always just look like dudes who are like in the absolute like just end bottom, stage of bottom of their lives, yeah. <laughs> at the, like just peak middle aged crisis. You think ancient aliens intentionally like praise on the weak? Yes, I think so too. 
I mean, think about what kind of person would legitimately watch Ancient Aliens and be like, oh, yeah, I learned something today. The kind of people who go after, like, the worst clickbait articles online and don't, like, actually, you know, bother to fact check whatever they see. Oh, that's very true. And there's a whole market based on exploiting those people as much as they can. Oh, yeah. Ancient Aliens is just part of that. Right, cat. Probably talent recruiters who said ancient aliens are probably just looking for the saddest guy at the strip club. He's <laughs> <laughs> even too nervous to ask for a lap dance, and they're like, that's our guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I noticed you uh, don't have enough dollar bills to throw at that stripper. You want to come earn some in ancient aliens? <laughs> yeah, I'll get you one lap dance. <laughs> I noticed that forlorn look on your face. <laughs> Low on ammo. I'm surprised this guy survived that. Okay. Yeah, we are literally like right at the end of the game too. We just didn't have quite enough time last time to finish it off. I do kind of wonder sometimes, like you know, we have like phrases or whatever, that eventually become so normal that people don't even think where they came oh, no, from. No. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, well, most like, phrases, I'd say. Yeah, for sure. But I'm just saying, like, um... Right, well, like, you think those were taken, gun. like, more seriously when people said them the first time? Like, it really landed? That, yeah, probably. Like, yeah, that's because good say If you knew, like, where it came from. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, uh, I was, when you, those guys got hit in the back with a grenade, I'm like, oh, they're taking flack. And it's like, now, now, like, you forget to pick up, like, laundry detergent or something like that, and then, <laughs> you know, your wife or girlfriend or whatever is like, I told you three times, we need laundry detergent, and you're like, oh, she's just giving me so much flack. And it's like, well, the first time somebody said that wasn't, like... Different. Yeah, because that's a completely different context, you'd assume. Though. Right, well, and it's just like, it's so much more, like, you, where it comes from. It's like, it's quite, it's like, violence and death and, like, seriousness, and now it's like, oh, uh, you know, now it's basically synonymous with nagging. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, did that ever happen in World War II, when, you know, they're flying the bombers over Germany, and then the Germans are shooting fucking, like, giant guns at them, and they're like, ah, oh, these Germans are nagging us again. <laughs> Respectfully, Lieutenant, stop nagging me, sir! <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I did not put the toilet seat down, sir! <laughs> <laughs> you know life's hard when you're married to a drill sergeant. I would say that's a role for a submissive. <laughs> there are definitely some marriages where uh, a like person it. involved might as well be a drill sergeant. Like oh, they, yeah. They've already trained, done the training, you know? And there's definitely pe some people that are, like, happy to be on the receiving end of oh, yeah. that, too. You know, I mean, well, you know, different strokes for different folks and all that. There's a, there's a lot of people that uh, were born to um, have their Just lives defined. eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where they want to be. They, they, they are very uncomfortable with like making decisions for themselves. That's definitely true. Yeah. Let's use the cart. There we go. I feel like a lot of that probably comes from how they were raised. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, you, do it. I think, I think, what, guys? I'm, I'm not sure which would be number one and number two, but the the things, the two things I'm sure will destroy a child is an overly protective mother or an alcoholic father. <laughs> no, oh God, yeah. Demolish a kid. Or flip that around too. Yeah. So yeah, just like either parent, whether your really. parents uh, overprotective or neglectful, some kind of happy medium in there. Yeah. No, absolutely. Probably pretty wide lane, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the 
some of these kids with the helicopter parents. Oh, um, God, yeah. Well, you also get, like, over independence if the parents just don't fucking, like, pay attention to them, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you just completely abandon your child, that's not going to go very well. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, some kids are, like, legitimately almost... Feral. Except now the now the phone can raise them, so instead of being <laughs> feral, they just become catatonic. <laughs> that's very fucking true. Well, I mean that's increasingly the, the way the parents are though. Yeah, now that now that like every generation's on TikTok. Yes. Oh yeah, TikTok, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, it's yeah, it's TikTok's not even a young person thing anymore. And most of the country, like over half the country's on TikTok now. Yeah, it's gonna be like what Facebook became, you know, like sort of an online old folks home. Let's yeah, go to the old true. folks home, we can get doped up and then all get stoned. What's <laughs> interesting is I the social networks didn't last very long as a concept. Uh, I thought you said sure what just happened there. Oh. Major calls. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like the, that Bigfoot commercial where the, the Bigfoot grows out of the dude's back and it's like a fire hose all to some other guy. Now, I still don't understand what that commercial was trying to sell me. Jerky. How, how though? Eat, eat this jerky and you'll piss like a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to piss like a fire hose. That doesn't sound, like, comfortable or fun. I don't know. I mean, that might get you places if you're, like, working in a German brothel or something. That's good, but I, I don't. <laughs> and, will, and I will not. <laughs> Damn why this our jerky, the number one sex worker approved. <laughs> number one sex worker approved Bigfoot jerky. <laughs> is, that, is that a good thing? I mean, it's a very specific thing. <laughs> That's that. That is true. Hopefully, he can get that mini gun off that guy. That'll probably solve the problem. Yeah, let him take care of a lot of these guys first, and then. Well, I think the fact that you shot him means he's either dead or coming after you. Huh? Guess not. Not pretty smart. There's like a swarm of those things coming up the middle here, so okay. they're focused. So you want to take out his backup while he does? Oh, I think he's dead. I think yeah, I think they they knocked him down. Right. Well, in that case, you'll probably grab that thing. But then that's the other thing: is more guys keep coming in. Oh, or do they both endlessly spawn? No, there is a limit to them, but okay. they're they're just not done yet. I was about to say this is gonna be like hunt down the Freeman of <laughs> no, no, thank, thank God. Man, we should play that on this channel someday. Alex does like him bad games. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We should. We yeah, we'll definitely have to play that. <laughs> this is one of the worst fucking games. What the hell happened to her? I don't know. God, there are so many fucking bad games that we can play. Uh, oh, dude, it's fucking, Alex, it's endless. I don't think Alex knows what's coming. Nah, he's, he's not fully prepared for how crazy this could actually get. There's enough game, like, bad games. We could just do, like, a bad game channel, honestly. I mean, that's, we could, yeah, we could play nothing but bad games if we really wanted to. Probably never run out. <laughs> Good job. Good, good thing there's no friendly fire club. Yeah, seriously. Great idea. Run in front of the guy with the minigun. That definitely won't end poorly. Yeah, it's a good thing that, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a good thing that Nathan's luck extends to the NPCs because they have the survival instinct of lemons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they basically are just like, oh, uh, well, and now the chain gun is gone because uh, I respawned in after the... That sucks. Hmm. Honestly, this is still probably faster anyway. Yeah? They just keep coming! Oh no, I want a crossbow shot. Yeah, how many of these fuckers live in the city? Uh well, you know, it is probably like a whole civilization, right? The word single handedly gonna demolish. Yeah. Oh god. Shing dong decap. Shing Dong Dicka. I thought you said Shing Dong. Oh, fuck Dicka. off. Shing Dong Dick Cup. God damn. That's what I heard. Shing Dong Dicka. Dick Cup. Dick Cup. Yes. Okay. Well, he was just describing watched... his favorite sex toy to you. Oh. Probably God. in an effort to demoralize you with tales of his sexual prowess. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Like the waste shots. <laughs> Oh, 
There you go. Yeah, I remember these things being like the only enemies that were like legitimately difficult. Ow! Okay. <laughs> well, you remembered right. <laughs> Dude, fucking one shot at you. You son of a bitch. Watch out for the guys with the slings! I think they hurt themselves on that one. The first useful thing we've done. Okay, all clear. There we go. That was easy that time. Yeah, there really weren't that many of them. It's just that they do such high damage with those fucking weapons. Okay. And then uh, you'll see will be all ready for us to play uh, 3 and 4 at some point, which you haven't seen now mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I'm all for that. Yeah, then we can, then we can uh, watch the Pizza Hut right. movie. <laughs> pizza Hut movie? Yeah, you know about the Pizza Hut movie, don't you? In uh, the Uncharted pizza. movie? Oh, yeah. It's a very exciting action scene brought to you by Papa John's. <laughs> I could never. I always get Papa John's and Pizza Hut well, mixed up. Mm -hmm. Neither of them are particularly thing. good. So, so. look, they're, they're, Pizza Hut is super. When's the last time anybody ate Pizza Hut? Uh, I know people that that would order it, and I vehemently disagree with them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you rate it higher or lower than Domino's? Oh, absolutely lower, dude. <laughs> Domino's is not great, but they are better than they used to be. I don't remember exact when it happened, but they they. They, they, they may stop using cardboard specifically hey, as an idea. ingredient. I have an idea for you. <laughs> what? what if we get Pizza Hut We're pizza, right? Okay. But we do a special Why? order, right? We customize okay. it. So instead of the regular cheese they use, they put the Arby's cheese sauce on it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that Arby's cheese sauce. They have to mix that themselves at the store. Look at that. The Chintamani stone. Oh. The thing they've been looking for the whole game. No, doesn't look anything like a Chimichanga. <laughs> it's a Jumanji stone. <laughs> Jumanji stone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's like somebody grew a tree around a marble. Marco Polo had it wrong. This isn't a sapphire, it's amber. Okay, well, amber. amber's orange. Yeah, that's not amber. <laughs> it's tree sap. Marco Polo was kind of a dumbass, I guess. <laughs> he was kind of a dumbass. What is it? He said that sheep grew out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was in reference oh, to the lies nice. he was told sheep about the more <laughs> growing out of the ground. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was like deliberate propaganda that he'd been fed about silkworms. Yeah, yeah, something. But he claimed to have so seen the tree of life. That's, oh. that's the sap. That's that tree. eating that's so what's turned all the teeth black. So that's the tree's ball sap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, sap is basically tree jizz, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, for sure. Right? <laughs> was I don't know. Much? That's a good question. Every time you have any sort of breakfast with maple syrup, you're just eating tree cum. <laughs> Black I think it's tree blood. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's more like blood. blood. No, it's tree cum. No, I mean the well, tree comes out of the flowers. Have the honey tree, 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 tree cum is like when you park under a tree. Uh, uh, wait around and find out. In the like in the spring, right. early summer, and then you come out and something just the tree just jizzed a giant amount of green like powder. <laughs> on dramatic the reveal of the tree of life. But this is where we go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen to me, Alex. I'm not sure what the analogy yeah, what tree is. are you parking under? <laughs> You've never had like a Was there a dude in that tree? I've never maybe? had a tree give me a facial now. I don't know what your experience is. <laughs> <never, laughs> You've never seen a tree covered in pollen before. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, well, that pollen is tree juice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Elena, don't. Yeah. Well, I, I'm allergic. I stay away from <laughs> Yeah, I get you. <laughs> you'll never, you'll never you experience. You can't go and get these plant-based bukkakis that yeah. Alex is enjoying. <laughs> well, I was waiting, man. Like, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Some people can't eat bread. Some people can't jerk off a tree for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got something. Burdens to bear. Oh shit! But no, nah, it's the most effective thing he's done. Because <laughs> like seeds are like eggs. Oh my god, Well, eggs are chicken abortions. <laughs> Be okay. Well, we're not talking about like eggs in not. your ovaries. So. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's why they're chicken abortions. That's why the egg, chicken eggs are chicken abortions. Well, a chicken's like a uterus. Yeah. I mean, like an egg. I mean, like the egg is like a uterus. 
Okay, like, so it's like it depends on if the egg period. is fertilized yes. or not, right? Yeah. Yeah. The egg has to be fertilized because so so it's it's the egg. period. Sorry, yeah. Not, yeah. It's, yeah. Not it's, a period. it's not a it's not a it's not fertilized. It's, it's yeah. you're eating chicken. Period. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. well, that's what the Heat Stars episode is about. That's true. <laughs> it, I mean, I guess it's kind of. I mean, it is kind of like the chicken just shits out like several uteruses a day. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. You're eating the chicken's uterine while climbing. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Let me tell you about that uterine liner. <laughs> How many different ways you can prepare that uterine liner. Yeah, man. You beat it really hard until it turns into some kind of... <laughs> Somebody do that. I'm surprised I haven't seen... Oh, man. I'm surprised I haven't seen that on, like, a pretentious menu at some point. Chicken like, uterus? Poached chicken uterus. <laughs> it's just an egg. Yeah, it's just a poached egg. <laughs> you should open that restaurant. That's what we could call it, chicken uterus. <laughs> You guys want to go eat the chicken eaters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Does a chicken have a uterus then? Um, Probably not, right? Like the egg laying. I guess it I'm not entirely has, sure how that works. It but probably I, has like a sort of similar structure, oh, but like instead of that forming the egg. Yeah, instead yeah. of fully forming the baby, it just forms the egg and then just kind of craps it out. Gotcha. I mean that is pretty handy for the chicken. You don't have to actually like give birth. That is. That is. I think I think most women would rather lay eggs if, if that was the choice. Yeah. Now. You know what the most inconvenient animal system is? Like it's like uh, some women in the chat to answer that question. Yeah, any women out there? Would you rather, <laughs> rather lay eggs? Would you rather Comment on the video down below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, don't let us mansplain it to you. You know, we we gotta have you know. Want well, some real opinions? A professional vagina haver, you know, like his ears. I have a vagina professional. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I'm a Ken doll. <laughs> Personally, I'm. <laughs> He's doing pretty well for someone with eighty grenades to the face. Well, Chloe's carrying her. She's pretty fucked up. Not that, that, you know, not fucked up in, like, a realistic way. But... Right, right. I mean, like, her skull is still attached. So... Yes, yes, that's that's very true. I don't think that did anything. I think uh, it just no, knocked the dead bodies around. That, that was a pretty limp dick grenade for his age. Well, it can only go so far, man. <laughs> Look out! Okay. There you go. Okay, we're gonna move. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, right. machine gun. There we go. Uh, come on, let's step over this. Machine guns are always better with human enemies, I swear. Technically, it's an assault rifle. Whatever. You know, it's, it's like a weird thing that the, the, uh, that gun nuts are really, uh, they do that more than a lot of other... They're very, very nerdy that way, where they go on to, like, anything. And you can say, generically, whatever a gun is. Oh, they're going to correct you, going, Oh, well, actually, that's an M4 <laughs> model 1963 or whatever. Well, I mean, that's just NRA members going, Oh, my, actually. <laughs> that, that's a thing online. Like, people do that all the time. I, don't, I mean, that's that's the behavior of... Count on you. Most men that just base their entire personalities around a machine of some kind, mm -hmm. like well, yeah, car guys, car plane guys, sure. like yep. Yep. gun guys. Yep. Yeah, that's. Uh, and then yeah, obviously, then the nerds do the same thing, but with like fucking D and D or whatever. Yeah, right. I feel like that's that's just uh, Not a a trait of a lot really of guys, a lot of men. Yeah. Especially, you know, I mean, men are definitely, well, and I didn't try to nah, stop I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> men were the most likely to base their entire personality off one superfluous thing, but... Everybody does that. Like, yeah, I think that's just, I think that's just human, that's human behavior. behavior. Yeah. I mean, what about those girls? But who... specifically the, like, oh, I need to correct you. Yeah. On, yeah. like, the exact technical... That, 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 yeah, that yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't that see women do that. Yeah, no, that's a, that's definitely true. There are absolutely chicks who base their entire lives on, say, Disney princesses or oh, whatever, but they're not going to... Or astrology. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to... Uh, man, you guys like, just go down described like 95%. Later. I think that's like... <laughs> <laughs> Disney and See, astrology. astrology or Disney princesses, those are your choices in life. 
But yeah, I definitely don't see women just correct, pointlessly specific information mm-hmm. like that. Women just don't get in dick measuring contests. I mean, I mean that obviously. Well, like, well, like <laughs> no, I mean even metaphorical. Definitely not, literally. <laughs> yeah, but even like metaphorical ones, it's right. not so much like oh, I need to protect my reputation as the guy that knows the most about 1970 dodges. <laughs> What's right. that guy drinking that cum? It's gonna make him invincible. Oh, he's gonna make more cum. <laughs> 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 They can't stop me! <laughs> <laughs> this dude could have easily... Why do you have to go into the city? Were there no porn theaters where he's from? <laughs> he had to get the... He had to specifically get the Tree of Life's come. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Drake. <laughs> I love the way he says that. Drake! <laughs> <laughs> he's such a, like, Bond villain. I do, I do think out of all the villains in any of the games, he's probably the most entertaining. He's mine. Helen Mirren's the villain in the third one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you that guy your rock, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that's not your favorite villain. <laughs> hey, man, it, you know, 62 and under. For, for, for her, she was... Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, not, not, not so much now. You were but... playing that whole game going, man, was she going to get her top off? <laughs> I get, I mean, I get it, Sage, like, you just see, I mean, sometimes, sometimes one of those elderly women are walking away, (laughs) nothing but ass, because she's at a 90 degree angle. (laughs) Do those sags go all the way down? (laughs) Until they get tangled up with the tennis ball. We do run a classy stream. Oh, <laughs> super classy, dude. What was in that episode of South Park? Uh, classy? How they, how they say Classy. Classy, yeah. It's like the dip from the L. <laughs> oh, why are you not? Why are you doing that? Alright, well, he. Re- oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, that was a close one. Making all the best decisions. So you gotta get jizz all over him in order to win. Yeah, he did. Just gotta keep shooting like explosive no! jizz. <laughs> so uh, you're, he's overloading him. Uh, I think it's just that the explosions are hurting him oh, okay. more than it's that the jizz. Oh, oh. Uh, this is game over. Oh, but you get, you get a yeah, yeah, you got a chance at least. You can kind of. <laughs> Those are some pretty wimpy slaps on Drake's part. Well, you know, slapping, you know, he's, he's, he's no Will Smith. No. <laughs> Slapping's no joke, though, man. I mean, a good, good, good open handed slap. It depends on where you hit someone. It's intense. It's like uh, that Russian, like, that slap, slap fighting league or whatever they got. That's the thing. Oh, Is yeah. Russian slap fight league? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. my new band name. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, Okay. They like oh, stand okay. stock still and they each get one slap until one of them's unconscious. Well, oh, Russians always. That makes sense for Russians. They always go the most hardcore they can. So. Oh, yeah. Well, apparently, like, you're better off being a boxer than one of these slap fighters. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, they, oh, yeah. Like, your chance of getting a concussion is extremely high <laughs> from these. From these crazy buff dudes just smacking each other in the side of the head. That's well, my new band, just slap concussion. <laughs> well, imagine how much more damage they'd be doing if they were like really laying into each other, though. I think I think it's just something about like that the way the energy transfers from a good like hard. I mean, like people go down. Yeah, in these slap fights, like that. <laughs> I believe that. Like, well, it's not really a slap fight. I mean, they go slap for slap until somebody. Right, it's, it's, you're putting as much force into it as you can. Mm-hmm. Right, it's not just somebody. It looks, like, it looks brutal. Like as much as it sounds goofy, be like, oh, they just slap each other. It's like, nah. I mean, that looks pretty bad, dude. Well, I mean, slapping is like a like a valid uh, self defense measure if, if you know where to hit someone. Like if you smack someone, like you know. Like in the fucking ears and shit like that. Oh yeah, dude, you fucking discombobulate the shit oh, out yeah. of him. Yeah, you can put him in like straight shell shock mode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but to take one of those Dragon Ball Z shits. Yeah, seriously, getting constipated as well. 
Oh god. I think it would have taken a. I think he would have to have a lot more of it over a longer okay. amount of time to. Also, I like how he just casually chucks like ten grenades at you. All yeah, all at the same time. He must pull the pins pretty quick. Yeah, I, I don't know how he does that. Like, uh, does he have spider hands that we don't know about? Yeah. Always like how. You're going to die here! Useful grenades out in this game. What's Adam's X? Uh, like, I like how much uh, use you get out of your grenades in this game. Oh, hell yeah. There's a lot of games where you just. So you're kind of useless, yeah. Yeah, they don't really do that much. I like the way that the uh, ragdolls go flying around like crazy when you use the grenades in this game. Oh, yeah. yeah I, the I ragdoll think, effects are fantastic. I think that's a, a core part of what makes a grenade, or explosive in general, fun in the game. Think. Oh, hell yeah. How many men have you killed? How many just today? That's it, boy. No compassion. No mercy. <laughs> Russian as hell. Do it! No. As usual, you, you kill all the henchmen, but you kill. leave the big boss alone. Maybe not. But they do. Well... At least he knew he was going to get his come up with anyway. I mean, I think he was like, yeah, he, he'll die more painfully this way. Why waste full <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Man, he's doing full halt on his head. The sexual undesirables are really ripping him apart. <laughs> like some prison yard. Seriously, yeah. Holy shit. Oh shit, all, all the Shambhala's about to get the wreck just like that dude did. Oh yeah. Well, you know when you destroy the entire tree of life. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it is Nathan Drake. This is why he shouldn't even be an archaeologist because he's just gonna break every civilization he finds. I know, right? Like Indiana Jones would be so mad if he saw how much destruction was caused. <laughs> God, these games have such impressive set pieces. Yeah. Make that one for a second. And they just get crazier and crazier as the games go on, too. I mean, they, they do such a good... Like, by the, some of the stuff in Uncharted 4 is fucking breathtaking, right? Better than any Hollywood movie. Well, that's not I mean, much totally these days. Yeah. True. Yeah. Not sure how she didn't hear that guy going... <laughs> yeah, did she think that was the other chick? Oh, Lave has got a really deep voice all of a sudden. <laughs> that grenade must have jacked up her throat. <laughs> All right. Gotta get her out of here. We did it. Yeah, she looks fine. <laughs> yeah, she's. On, her clothes got slightly dirty. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you could get uh, an explosion somewhat nearby you, not receive any damage on the outside, but right, you could your bones be broken and your yeah. you know internal bleeding and all that. But usually, that's if like you have some sort of armor or something on. Right. That would like absorb the heat. True. Right she, she's just grenades. wearing like a t-shirt. Yeah. Her <laughs> It just fucking destroyed the entire fucking. <laughs> the Elder the Eldorado statue is just in the middle of the ocean, just god forever. Oh no! This is destroyed completely. Just exploded. Man, He's just gonna man, wreck every civilization. He <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I won't even be limited to the ancient okay. civilizations. Indiana, yeah, yeah, right? Indiana Jones got everything in that warehouse. Man, don't yeah. do this. Right? It's uh, which is where. Technically, Indiana Jones then had some sexually undesirable aliens, too. <laughs> I think that's where those were coming from. That those were exiled from their world for being sexually undesirable. Maybe, I mean... It seems like the main reason why aliens would be exiled. True. 
Of course, an Asian meal. Right. Like la, chef will kill all the garbage you get. Do you check? Oh, hey, he actually learned something. He ain't bothered. <laughs> it's funny replaying this. He really is just like, I don't, what do you say? Like, the whole time he is. Speak American. <laughs> Which for, for a character that's so smart and so, like, knowledgeable about history and stuff, it was just, it was funny to hear him just continuously do that. Because... <laughs> It would have been one thing if they made that joke once, but he keeps doing it. He just keeps being such a dick. At least like 30 minutes of the game. Yeah. He's just like, hey, right. hey, English. <laughs> Tell her. Hey, he's totally showed up again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the entire game out. Yeah, he's barely been in this. He's, he's, in, oh, he's in the third one a lot more. Okay. You're gonna miss this ass. Remember, that's Mark Wahlberg in, in, the, in the Papa John's movie. <laughs> I mean, I didn't refer to that as the Papa John's adaptation. <laughs> it was a great adaptation of Papa John's. Just restless. <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. I mean, there was a giant stone that would have been worth a lot of money. Yeah, but I mean, he had to blow up the whole city to get it. That's so. true. <laughs> Well, something else will come along. How, uh, how do they get money to survive in between games? That is a great question. <laughs> I guess from selling all those weapons from all the dead Russian mercenaries. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's what it is. At least in the, the first one, they did get a but they did get like a decent boat boatload of treasure, but uh, they ended up with nothing here. Well, I mean, they got a whole warehouse full of old Russian tanks and helicopters. Probably that goes for a lot. Yeah, that's true. Do you think there's anything left on that train where, wherever they... And where did that train get parked? Did yeah, yeah, because not all of that, it went off the cliff. Yeah. So where, where, where's that train? Maybe that's where they get the money from. That could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they just fucking drive that shit into China and go, Hey, how much do you want for this? <laughs> that's, that's the, uh, that should be the next uh, uh, Uncharted game. Is, is basically like a fucking Lord of, Lord of War or whatever. But it's <laughs> <laughs> Say that Jake just becomes Yuri Brent's but off. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. It's amazing how well the facial animations hold up, because so, I feel like a lot of stuff from this time don't doesn't. Yeah, I mean it's no bioware, that's for sure. <laughs> four. Four? Yeah, why? A four. four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? <laughs> Clowns. Clowns over my death? I hate, I hate Clowns. clowns. I hate clowns. Oh my word. You thought I was dead. No. No, you thought I was no. gone. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I said a bunch of them. Tears? Uh -huh. It was raining. No, it was not. <laughs> you were unconscious and it was raining. It was totally sunny out and you were bawling. Was it sunny? You were unconscious. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't gaslight the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alright. Cool. Big improvement over the first game. Oh, right? yeah. A lot more happening. Alright. And, uh, let's skip oh, through yeah. these credits here and then, uh,. We'll switch over to the Super Sunshine Happy Fun Time game. Okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get some <laughs> depression in. <laughs> Sad. Yes. Well, we specialize in it. Right? <laughs> yeah. There aren't any suicides in that one, are there? There were. There was at least one in the first game, so yeah. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if there are any in two, but okay. we'll there's it. lots of murder. <laughs> well, well, there's been plenty of murder in this. Suicide watch. <laughs> that's what the stream should be called <laughs> at this point. Oh, that's definitely oh. getting. Yeah, you would get very long if that was going to be what it was called. Uh, all right, well, we'll be right back with that.